Sup folks, it's your boy Charles Barkley of Frog Log Crog Dog, and today I have the JetBurn pre-release kit well, ahead of time. So JetBurn here has pre-releases uh, starting on the week of the 10th, and if your store does not have one, ask UVS Games and see if they can get you one set up. If you're curious and don't know if your store is having one, or don't know where your store even would be, they do have a store finder on play.mhacardgame.com. See where your nearest store is today and find out how you too can participate in a pre-release with this hot new product. Alright, I'm super excited to see how this goes. I've been hearing good things. Uh, very excited to see what the pull's like. New packaging's pretty cool. No more unique promo to the pre-releases. Now instead, we get one of these. Got the new card backs. Got a pre-release kit instructions. And a little UGN network info card. Super cool. Speaking of which, if you're new to the game, sign up for the UGN network using this QR code here or just on the play.mhacardgame.com website and you can put in your favorite content creator you know me somebody else there's lots of choices and uh, you get 50 free points for doing so so let's take my wild six packs start cracking them open and see what I can find to build a deck All right, we've got Fashion Icon, Soulful Rendition, Stylish Strike, Air Force Blast, Tongue Capture, the number 10 Pro Hero, Gusty Buffet, or actually Buffet, <laughs> Activating Hood, the number 3 Pro Hero, Who? Last second release, rare, very cool looking, and Endeavor 3. So I do have a character to pick from already, thanks to there now being a character in every pack since Undaunted Raid. Let's move on to pack two. Let's see what we got. We got Summon Nomus, Multitasking, Flash Fire Fist, Hell Spider. Styling Bakugo, Binging Balls, Relaxed Demeanor, Earnest Fighter, Tongue Tank, Ooh, Falling Skies, this is a very pretty card, it's an XSR, oh boy, that's a nice spicy pull to kick off a pre-release kit, oh, oh man, Oh, oh, all right. Love it. And then the Air Force Close, a card I actually really, really like. And Ed Shot is our character. Very nice. All right. Moving on, we've got Keeping Beat, Fearless Frog, Reluctant Role Model. Fiery Confrontation, the number seven pro hero, Hot Pursuit, Gold Tips Imperial, card I really like, Strength and Beauty, Queen Beam, Equipment Demonstration is our rare, and a Hawks. Very nice. All right, let's go pack four. We got Take to the Sky, High End, Elasticity, Burn Combo, Problem Solving, The One Man Inferno, Canyon Cannon, oh yeah, Irritated, Number Four Pro Hero, Always Cool, I Agree Mr. Genus, and Inasa Yorashi, love him. All right, 
pack five. Uh, my heart is set. Hawks feather got one for Hawks. Embrace the past. Titan cliff creeped out. Frozen slide. Berserker bite. Quick burn. Heroic passion. An ultra rare in pro hero rankings. Absolutely gorgeous card here. Very nice new foiling. And a Shoto Todoroki 4. Final pack. Alright, we got Dragon Power. Velocity Rush. Take to the Sky. Hula Hoop. Internet Sensation. Defying Fate. Number 2 Pro Hero. Caring Mentor. The number 23 Pro Hero. An ultra rare, or an XR in a XR SR of a fiery vengeance. All right, uh, super cool. And hood. And finally, our bonus card is Kotsky Bakugo 4. Very cool. All right. Well, my polls were super cool. Now I got to pick what I'm going to do here. And the answer is generally look for a character that's generically good and try to play with that for a uh, pre-release. Or if you happen to have pulled enough stuff into the kit, then you might be okay. So, like, Hood might not be a bad choice just because he's got 33 health, which is a ton. And the adding a ton of damage, they might not always be holding the right block. So that's a definitely a possibility. I don't think Bakugo, because you can't guarantee your opponents are going to give you damage penalties. And, uh, although the discard one card from your card pool, if it's your turn, uh, your rival discards one card is pretty good. But commit a foundation after you take damage, draw a card, and commit a rival foundation. That's pretty good. If I have enough range, Shoto what four might be reasonable. Otherwise, being able to uh, throw speed onto everything is pretty nice. If I, I didn't even get two copies of Hawk's Feather. Hawk's probably isn't it. So then you've got Edge Shot if you review an attack. I don't think I have enough kit of uh, the of their kit there for the Lurkers to actually play the review gimmick. But that would be nice if there was. So he's probably out as well. And then you've got Endeavor with Mill 4. Your attack gets plus 2 speed. If you've cycled this game, it gets plus 3 damage. That's real easy in, in, in pre-release. And then four months for game, add one attack from your move to the game pile to your hand. Can't be canceled. So yeah, you'll be burning your deck real fast uh, when you get, giving your stats super big. I think, honestly, with how small pre-release decks are, playing the Endeavor 3 deck might not be unreasonable. Well, because... And two... Stats are real nice. And that's a ton of free stats. So let's look at doing him. <laughs> All right. So now that I've picked that, I've got to build a 40 card deck. So let's sort. Now that I, so I have my, my, my bombs in theory here. Now let's sort by card type. So I can see if I have the foundations and actions and attacks to make everything work. All right. 
right. So lose two health after this attack resolves. It was completely blocked. Remove it, and your rival loses two health. That's not bad at all. Discard momentum after to discard an attack from the top of your deck during this turn. Add it to your hand. It's pretty great if you have a way to sp if you have momentum to spend. This isn't too bad. Falling skies as a first enhanced attack gains throw. No more attacks can be played this turn. It gets if you're trying to play with Endeavor's ability to gain plus three damage at that point. This is a five, three high for eight throw. And he gets plus one speed for each high uh, in your card pool. So if I get enough highs, that's another reasonable pitch there. Oh, that could be a nice game ender. Uh, this is a, a sure surefire card because we, we are going to be cycling with what we're trying to do. So 100% include. So let's see if I have the highs to make this work. Low, low, mid, high, high. Low, mid, high, high. High, 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 high. All right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine highs. That's probably enough to play this gimmick, set it up, and try to get some big damage onto a throw to finish off with. And then I get to show off my XSR. That's a pretty good gimmick. Let me make sure none of these are awful. Which I don't think there are anything that bad, but... Yeah, let's you redraw. It's not block, draw two cards. And it's got a pro hero enhance, which isn't bad. Free stats is super good. Another mill card. And if you cycle, it gets more stats. Sure, lose two health is fine. Uh, Canyon Cannon's real good, given uh, you're playing in sealed, because you have way more chances to hit other ability symbols. Uh, Berserker Bite, Flip Foundation, if you play this, after you play this card. Uh, all cards get plus one difficulty this turn. If it's your turn, this card does not count towards progressive. Uh, it's alright, but it's a throw. Alright. So I'm probably going to shoot for probably about 14 attacks or so. So that I have some options. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So let's go and find 5 more. If your rival has no committed foundations, commit one rival foundation. Response, commit one foundation. After this attack's block step, it needs plus three damage. Uh, sure, good value. This is a three diff low that gets a ton of damage. Uh, if it's play at the end of a long chain, that's kind of neat. Queen Beam's kind of neat, too. Oh, that's weird gimmick. Name a card type. Real top card of your deck. It's a card match type. Add to your momentum. We're not playing a villain, so we don't get the villain enhance. It's okay, stats. Uh, Dusty Buffet could easily buff it. Could easily be a bunch of damage. And it's a low, so it's a nice mix-up. We'll play that. That puts us at 11. Summon no moves. This card in this card pile gets plus two difficulty. Next card you play gets plus two difficulty or minus two difficulty. Your rival may uh may commit two foundations to cancel it. It's alright. If you have drawn a card, this enhanced step, your next deck gets plus two plus two. This card's add to your momentum at a face up. Momentum flip change attack speed to four. If you block this uh, card with this card, seal and commit one rival foundation. If this attack is blocked, seal one rival foundation. As a three mid seven, that's pretty neat. Sure. 
the attack is not your second attack this turn. It gets minus one speed, three points the damage. But it's a ton of stats. We can probably set that up. That's fine. And we'll play the Fiery Vengeance. We already looked at it, which is... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14, 15 with the asset. Do you block with this card and build it committed? After end phase, if you did not deal damage this turn and played at least one attack at the top, create extra momentum. And we have a powerful 4, an EX2. And an echo. So a couple uses for momentum. But the build down is actually kind of neat too. So maybe. Alright. Play a charge or punch. If it doesn't have stun, give it stun one. Uh punch. Charge. 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 It's about half our attacks. That's pretty reasonable. Stun one and a six check. Why not? Sure. Enhance if your rival has two or more sealed foundations. Add this card to your momentum. Discard one momentum at the start phase. Seal one rival foundation. That's another nice little use for momentum. Sure, we'll throw that in. Sealing can be really strong. It's kind of hard, cannot leave the card pool during the combat phase. Enhance, add this card to your card pool. Build the top two cards of your deck. Uh, dis enhance, destroy after your attack is played. Stay much got modified. Alright. Um, building the top two cards of your deck mid-turn is pretty great. Uh, that's effectively going plus one. Uh, you're losing this foundation and then gaining two foundations. It's interesting. Um, it's a maybe. I don't think we have a lot of ways to play with that, but it is easy build. Got Earnest Fighter, Ray Rattle Foundation. This attack gets minus two speed. That's reasonable. Enhance mill one, your rival checks against a six. If they fail, commit this card and the attack gets plus two damage. Uh yeah, adding more damage to our couple of throws is pretty nasty. Enhance your mid attack gets plus two speed. Uh and tenacious remove. Choose an attack in your rival's card pool, cannot leave the card pool this combat phase. Uh probably better as a sideboard card by default. Flip before your end phase, add one range card from your card pool to your hand. About six ranged attacks over there. Pro Hero Response, Tenacious Flip. After you discard one or more cards to arrival effect, draw one. This is all right. Let's look at our spam real quick. Because this is all stuff we'll probably want, even if it's not that good, just because it's easy to play. And we need to get about 20 foundations more. Yeah, because we're at four right now. Or three and then two ass or in an asset. Alright, so we've got dragon power. Your attack with no abilities gets plus one speed. Not a lot of those, but hey, it's decent block and some one. Good enough. Internet sensation. After you play an attack, if you do not commit any foundations to pass the check, gets plus one damage. Yeah, free damage. Uh and a one diff, we're in. Enhance commit. This attack gets minus two speed. Response if you lose health due to arrival effect. Add this to your momentum. Sure. Relax demeanor. Enhance your turn flip. Search your deck for one attack and add it to your discard pile. Uh, it's spam, but maybe that's not even that's not particularly relevant. Enhance mill one. Your rival mills one. Sure. It's a zero diff, especially. Uh, if you would. After your you discard this card during the enhanced step, your next check to play a card gets plus one. Uh, tenacious, after this card is committed to a rival effect, ready it. 
It's a decent amount of stun. Sure. If your card has two or more seal, if your rebel has two or more sealed foundations, deck gets plus one damage. Not specifically relevant. And it's commit. Your check to block this attack gets plus two. If a breaker is played, minus one. Sure. Hot pursuit after this card leaves your hand to a rival effect, gain two health. Flip after you block, your rival commits one foundation. Now that could end a turn randomly. I dig it. Uh, enhance. Or okay, so all those cards in your card pull your rivals. Block mods get plus one. Enhance commit, discard and draw one, counts as being reviewed. Else, so that's. Yeah, that's decent. Could end a turn. Uh, flip after your rival makes a check to play an attack or an action. That check gets minus one. Bailing doesn't end the combat phase. Sure. Reluctant roll model. Tenacious flip. This attack gets minus one damage. It's also a zero diff, so we're in there. Our last zero diff is number 10 pro hero. It's a plus one high block with a six control. We're in. High end. Enhance. Add this card to your hand. Add one card from your hand to the top of your deck. So you can control what your next check's going to be. Or mill for one of those couple of mill things like hood. Uh, response. Once per turn, tenacious. After you take damage from an unblocked attack, rate it as foundation. Uh, that's pretty relevant. Styling Bakugo. Commit your range attack. It's plus one damage. If it's not blocked, add the top card your rival's deck to your card pool. Got a decent amount of ranged. We'll go for it. Uh, ready one rival foundation your attack gets plus one speed plus one damage sure first form if you have two or more copies of this card your stage at gain one applause we do not response flip if you block your rival's next attack it's plus one difficulty kind of relevant uh you're to commit this fear attack it's plus two speed and minus one damage not too sold on that so we already have a great amount of spam let's keep moving on Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, teen. All right, so I need seven more cards to finish the deck. Let's see how these finish it off. After you view this card, if you only have two, or, if you have two or more foundations, build it face down. Only one copy of this ability can be played each this, this turn. Enhance. Add this card to your hand. Your rival attack gets minus two speed. That's kind of neat, because you can always just pull it up for a block. Uh, sure. Before the review step, if you have less cards in your hand than hand size, or draw one card. Interesting. Enhance if you have three or more counters on your character, gets plus one speed. Alright, response remove after this card enters your discard pile during the enhance step. Reveal the top card of your deck. If you discard one more, more momentum, your rival discards one momentum. All right, we're milling. That seems good. Pro hero response. Discard one momentum. If your rival plays a non-character ability that commits or seals anyone in your instance, cancel it. Oh, boy. We'll take that. Uh, once per turn, tenacious. If this card is committed due to a stun or a petty cost of ability, draw one card. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, enhance flip, change the stack speed to the printed of uh, an attack in your rival's card pool. Uh, that's not too bad. Flip after an attack is blocked, the next attack this turn gets plus three or minus three damage. Response flip, after your rival plays a stun ability, cancel and that's out of your deck momentum. Uh, pretty crazy, we'll go for it. Response mill two, after you block with this card, build it committed. Flip, the slow gets minus two damage. We'll take it. With the second copy. Uh, commit after you make a check to play a card. If your rival has discarded a card, this combat phase, their check gets plus two. Or that check. And enhance once per turn. Discard a card, change the zone of this attack. Not bad. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. That's all. That's all 40. Boom. I think we'll call that good. And there we go. We have built an Endeavor deck. I'm excited to play this. This looks super fun. Got good pulls. Huh. 
Let's see if I can round up some matches with some of the other uh, content creators and uh, really show off what these pre-release kits can do. I think this set's going to be super fun. Uh, I'm all, all very excited. Can't wait to see y'all out on the battlefield. Thank you very much. Have a great day.